Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever around the world. My name is Sifu Bryan. I'm a Northern Prayer Man's Conference teacher with 30 years experience. It is the 27th of September 2020. Welcome to my weekly quote. Let's get straight to it. If we do not believe in freedom of speech for those we despise, we do not believe in it at all. Norma Chomsky. Most Definitely, freedom of speech is so important. But like I say to people, if you don't agree with it, then turn off, you know? But at the moment, our rights are being eroded by the UK government, by these other governments around the world in their own, comf in their own uh, countries. It's going on all around the world and it needs to stop. Soldiers of the UK and a broad fought for freedom of speech, freedom of expression. They fought for our freedoms. They would turn over in their graves to see what's going on now in the UK and around the world. It needs to stop. The people are tired of it. It needs to stop right now. Now, I mean, there was a march in the um, UK yesterday for um, 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 in Safafa Square which did not get any coverage by the so-called media we call them the fake media now because they're fake um on people that were that are against the um the um lockdowns and uh, the mask wearing and all this nonsense they've been coming in with and um it was a f fantastic rally from what i saw on the internet thousands thousands of people attended yet the media totally went by it and I think the only negative coverage they put up on it is that they were conspiracy theorists you know it's the same old rubbish they come out with these are people ordinary everyday people you see um, there were people from independent media that were doing a lot of interviews you search the internet you'll find these interviews but these people are from all over the UK ordinary people who are concerned about where this country is going their rights they're concerned for their children yeah they don't want their children to be brought up in a society where it's all about masks and and then all these restrictions that are in the schools which is just unfounded uncalled for they've come in with this um rule of six which has no scientific basis to it uh, it's uh basically it's a mess it's a mess and um, also at the rally there was a doctor from Hamburg Germany who represented over a thousand doctors worldwide he's the head of it his, his name German doctor called Hick Schoening and they arrested him yesterday at the rally I couldn't believe it they arrested a doctor arrested him for speaking the truth are we turning into a police state? Are we turning into a, you know, a kind of Gestapo state? What is going on? Our freedoms are really, are really being attacked here. And I think people of the UK and around the world need to wake up before it's too late. But we need to wake up. It's not right what's going on. All the, uh, the, the virus and, and it, it doesn't make sense. The government has done so much U-turns, I'm, I'm surprised they're not dizzy. Um, the UK government has put up um, figures that the numbers of deaths have been very, very low. The CDC has also done the same thing. And um, we're still heading towards this. This, 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 this uncertainty of, 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 of what they've actually done, because all they, 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 they lowered the the rating for this, 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 this disease to nothing, not nothing more common than the flu. It's on the UK sites, it's on the CDC sites, it's on the World WHO sites. Yet they've, they, they've, they've, they've advanced themselves to it as if we are, um, as if we're, as, or as if this disease is going out of control. And it's not because deaths are low, non, almost non-existence, but they've moved on to cases. So when you're getting people say, well, this don't sound right. And then they look at the so-called 
conspiracy theories and it's more going along the line of the conspiracy theories because all the things what they're saying which is so-called conspiracy is actually fact it's actually fact so the government doesn't seem to be representing us we're the ones that vote with these people in unfortunately yeah you're supposed to be representing the people the people, not yourselves, not the deep state. We didn't put you in government to represent the deep state. So anyone that represents that, they need to go. Go. Yeah, we don't want the deep state. We don't want these people controlling our lives and so forth. We are sovereign beings. Yeah, the government is overstepping its mark. All right, people are tired of these restrictions. They are tired of being told what to do. It's an individual thing. The elderly has a right to see their grandchildren and so forth. It should be their choice and their choice alone if they want to see their grandchildren. So they may have a few months to live. It's their choice. And you do not incarcerate the, the, the healthy. That's madness. But we know they've got an agenda. And that agenda, unfortunately, is the new world order. But we're not having it. We're not having it. So, guys, um, on that note, we shall uh, leave it at that. But this is a fantastic quote. If we do not believe in freedom of speech for those we despise, we do not believe in it at all. Which is true. Everyone has a right for expression as long as it's not it's, it, as long as it's not calling out for violence or whatever. People have a right to express themselves, so we want to keep that here in the UK and I'm assuming in other countries. Um, and um, you know, anywhere where they're trying to take that back from us, something's not right. Something's not right, and we need to research. But on that note, guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, share your views, your expressions. I mean, obviously, you know, it's freedom of speech. If I don't like it, I'll just delete it. <laughs> All right? Freedom of speech. But, you know, speak out. But, you know, but let's, let's make it constructive. Let's make it constructive. So, guys, on that note, take care. Stay blessed. And I'll catch you next week.